Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So I believe a huge change to software development is actually beginning to happen. AI is part of it, but there's something more profound that AI enables to a certain extent, but it's also a change in the culture. The way people like to interact with software and computers has changed. And in some ways, it's kind of regressed back to an earlier time before the graphical user interface, or as we like to call it in the nerd world, the GUI. So I think that the GUI is going to fade in importance and is going to be replaced by two, maybe three other interfaces. So we're going to get into that because for software developers, if you understand that and embrace that, it could be a huge opportunity for you in terms of landing jobs, whether you get a job or freelance, and also it's gonna impact you in terms of your training. So uh, let's uh, jump into it. Hey, hey, this video is sponsored by me and my Python course. So I have an interactive Python course that is designed for absolute beginners. Although very experienced developers have told me they've learned some details about Python and programming that they had not, uh, they weren't aware of before. I go very deep into the fundamentals. The whole point of the course is to get you up and running as quickly as possible with Python. If you've had trouble learning how to code before, I am 150,000% confident that you will learn quickly and easily with my interactive training program. What makes this Python course better and different from anything else out there is that it's interactive. So you watch a video and you're immediately quiz on the content of the video, code challenges and theoretical questions. So you're going to progress super quickly and you're going to be astounded by how quickly you learn. So what I'm doing now is I have a Python course and certification in one package link below and I'm offering a coupon as well. So there's no better time in the history, well, history of me anyway, to learn Python. Uh, check it out. You're going to learn up to date Python. You're going to learn what you need to learn to progress as a Python developer, not nothing less. So check it out below my Python and certification package, fantastic price. And I'm going to leave a little coupon code below in the video description. So I see something big coming to software development and that is the ascent of text-based and soon voice-based interfaces. And I see the descent or the decline of GUI interfaces, graphical user interfaces. Why do I say that? Well, I'm just seeing it. So graphical user interfaces became a thing in the, I guess, 1990, whenever Mac OS and Windows 3 came out. And that was a game changer because at that time, most people did not have computers and most people weren't used to typing or texting in messages. It was just not a thing. That has changed quite a bit over the last like 15, 20 years, especially in the last, I would argue, 15 years with uh, smartphones and uh, texting and so forth. Actually, today, the culture has shifted so much where a lot of people will prefer to text than to talk. So, uh, and graphical user interfaces where you have to look for the button and so forth, is actually encumbering with uh, AI-based chat interfaces because you can just ask the AI go to a for example I'm developing an AI trainer and you don't have to look for the button you just ask the question I say what should I do today what should I eat today what's on the program today how much did I eat today you don't have to look for anything you just have to type in what you want and you get a response from the AI very intelligent so yeah I think as software developers you have to pay attention to that you got to pay attention to the fact that we're seeing this big change now, and I think GUI, graphical user interface based uh, design, it's not going to disappear, don't get me wrong, but it's going to fade in importance. So you're going to have the rise of text input by a chat, AI based chat, voice interface, just like uh, Star Trek. Computer, please calculate the uh, average today. I use, for example, very primitive, I use Google all the time. What's today's date? set an alarm, uh, what's today's weather, what's the UV index? These are questions that I ask all the time via voice. And I, so I see there's going to be a lot more voice interface 
a lot more text chat interface. And I think uh, very soon with uh, Meta glasses and the like, Apple, uh, their headset, I think it was called, but you're gonna see more visual for you. You're just gonna do like this with your finger. I guess that's kind of UI, but it's not pointing and clicking with a mouse, but gesture based. So you can use gestures, even this camera and other cameras and gimbals can be controlled via interface. Like, you know, some cameras you go like this and you do like this, and it tells the camera, it tells the hardware what to, to do. So yeah, so I think GUI is gonna slowly drop. And I, so in terms of software development, what I would suggest you guys look into is these new type of interfaces. First and foremost, I would look at um, text-based, AI-based, chatbot based interfaces very powerful in fact my new ai based trainer uh, brad brad is text based and soon i would imagine if i have any success with it i would just make it voice based so you don't have to go in there like a caveman and like click on buttons uh, you just you just ask it questions it's it's so much more efficient so that's the big change i think in software development the slow diminishing of the graphical user interface. It's pretty fascinating.